looking at? Just a four, maybe five. What's your team? Let's do this deal. Let's do this. What you got? Interesting case. This guy, his family was killed. People that did it killed the only witness. So they walked. There's no case? You killed my wife. Please! So what's he doing in lockdown? Just what you'd be doing, man. Bashing heads. You trust me, right? Of course I do. Then I promise you I'll get you out of this place. Dr. Kure, if you were to be released, is there any chance that you may again seek retribution for the wrong that you feel has been committed against you. Absolutely not, sir. What happened to you where the guilty go free? Happens more than the PD would want you to know. You lost, little girl? We found other ways to deal with those assholes. You guys vigilantes or something? What? You curious? Who are you? What do you want? What are we doing? Watching street theater. Yeah, I ain't gonna tell you nothing, man. Someone has to deliver justice to these criminals. I'm just gonna get out and do it again. The only language they speak is violence. Can you be so sure this guy's not gonna flip? He might not know it yet. Do it! But he's one of us. See, we don't need search ones. We don't need due process. We solve the case, we give it to the cops, hand it to them with a bow on top. That's what we do here. Hi, Jeff. How are you? I'm doing great. Delon, Daniel, Jeff in Las Vegas. Nice to meet you. Vegas, baby. <laughs> you bet. Thank you. I'm a native. <laughs> yeah, I love Vegas. Been there a guys, million times. Are you guys in LA? I'm in Florida. You're in Florida. Okay. I'm, I'm actually in San Diego currently. Oh, that's good. But close enough. We're neighbors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Delon, uh, you know, for Hollow Point, this is a personal and professional journey for you as producer and star of the film. What did it take to get here? Oh, God. <laughs> what a question, huh? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of hard work, man. Me and Daniel spent time and hours and hours hashing out scripts, people with Adele, our co-producer, understanding which one. We went through 10 scripts before me and Daniel. Daniel, Daniel didn't know me, so we just met. So finally, he saw kind of... Um, uh, like a reel of me acting. He's like, oh man, I really want you to do this one. You should do this one. You'd be great at this one. So, you know, I took Daniel's direction and gosh, we worked so hard, the both of us and Adele, of course, our co-producer to kind of get this to where it is today. And we're really proud. So I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's a long road making a movie. <laughs> it's not a short one. Well, also, you know, an aspect of that, Daniel, is going after this cast. I mean, Jay Moore, we know him for his comedy, but here he is in a shocking yeah. role for him. Yeah, you know, actually, good news on that was uh, Kirk Fox, the guy that plays uh, the shady guy who gets beat up in Hollywood. Um, not to spoil it too much, but he's a comedian as well. And I grew up with him in La Jolla, actually. And he'd recommended, I, I, I wanted to work with Jay Moore and he connected us. So from the comedy circuit, both of the guys, those guys are comedians, but they, they you know, um, Kirk played a dramatic role in the movie and so did Jay. And Jay crushed it. I, I think Jay is a revelation as a bad guy. I want to use him more as like a, a gangster, like a, you know, a, a, a crime boss. And that's what he portrays in, in uh, Hollow Point. And I think, you know, I, I was really, really happy with his performance and working with him was incredible. He just, he's a really unique guy, really individual dude. And Delon, you know, no one speaks about him enough, but one of my all time favorites is Bill Duke. And to see him, I mean, just, he just commands the screen. I mean, was he intimidating in person? Like he was in his role? No, he's sweet, man. He's one of the nicest people on set. He's super humble we we were in the same room we we, we were like kind of like you know very close intimate quarters. yeah very close quarters and uh gosh he's just so sweet gave me a cell phone he said you call me anytime and then when he gets on screen he's like boom you know what i mean and the power and his presence is just out of control and it's i was really humbled to be able to act with him really i, I enjoyed it so much yeah and daniel he's yeah. the director as well too so yeah you know Bill Duke was very, very giving. Um, and 
and just collaborative. And, you know, it was one of those great things. He, he gave me some really um, important compliments. Okay, I'll repeat. He said, I remind him of Clint Eastwood because I know what I want and I get it quickly and then I move on. Uh, you know, so I'll <laughs> take it. Thank you. <laughs> yes. And Delon, your character of Nolan, he's out for justice, uh, more so revenge for his family afterward. Uh, but he becomes a criminal to he becomes obsessed. Why do you think people enjoy street justice so more? Because I was cheering. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, street justice is such an interesting thing because we're, 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 we're having to kind of constantly in present time, you know, ask for it. Right. True. Um, so st street justice is just it's so primal in the way it is just in general, right? It's like you, someone hits you, you hit them back as a kid that was so normal. And then when you grow up as an adult, someone hits you, you don't hit them back anymore because of lawsuits and upsets and getting fired, right? But if you were three or four and your brother hits you, you hit him back and that was it, you know, and it was over. So <laughs> I think street justice is natural. I, I think it's natural, but it's not accepted, right, by society. So. You know, we don't want the Wild West anymore, I suppose. So, you know, this is where we are today. So, I mean, I, I understand I was rooting for the character too. I, I was <laughs> and, and, Daniel, and Daniel, this is an LA story. I love the locations. You must have found about every nasty warehouse in LA. <laughs> yeah, I actually, you know, I credit Adele as well, my, you know, the co-producer. Um, he, um, you know, for sure I wanted authenticity and for sure we, we, we hit the bricks together, but he had uh, recommended that one main sort of um, railroad location and we went down and scouted it and I found many, many uses for it. So, you know, I, I, I grew up in LA basically from, you know, I've lived there for the last 20 years. Um, now I don't anymore, but so I'm very familiar. I'm very familiar. I'm sorry. Getting a call. I'm very familiar with, um, you know, and I'd shot hundreds of music videos in, in, in LA and around. So I'm very familiar with sort of the authentic, LA and I wanted it to be gritty and we found all the right locations and particularly I credit Adele for for leading me to the great locations that we shot. And Delon, how many push-ups can you really do? Is that movie magic or are you really in shape? <laughs> Too many. <laughs> I heard Daniel. Let's do that again. One more take. Do it again. <laughs> no, I've been working out since I was 12. In fact, when I started, it was only push-ups and sit-ups and I got to the point where I was doing 200 push-ups a night, 300 sit-ups, and 50 pull-ups every single day of my life from middle school all the way through high school. So push-ups are like probably the easiest thing I can do. I can't really lift heavy weight like other people, you know, like putting a bunch of plates. I can't do that, but push-ups I can do. <laughs> well, guys, congratulations on Hollow Point. Uh, I think the scene that sticks with me the most was in the in the car shop, you know, the, the, and then the hitting the hand. I mean, I was cringing. That was just... Uh -huh. You know, hit him again harder. I was like, oh my God. And also the final showdown with Jay Moore was pretty cool too. Uh, was there any loose punches or was it all choreographed? I'm not sure. I, I mean, it's definitely choreographed, but did you take a few? Did I you? did definitely take a few. I can't remember <laughs> when or where, but I know I took a couple and you know, I'm so used to it. So I was, you know, it's kind of nice that you can put a little bit of umph behind it and it's okay. Like I'm okay to take one, so. I, I was okay with it. <laughs> well, awesome job. And guys, congratulations. And come visit us in Las Vegas when you have a chance. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much Absolutely. for your support.